Okay, so you know, certainly reading through 25, a crew can row downstream 18 miles and back again in seven and a half uh, hours. The rate upstream is one and a half miles an hour less than the rate of the stream. All right, find the rate of the stream and the rate of the crew in still water. So I'm gonna say X is the rate of crew in still water. And I'm gonna say Y is the rate of the stream And these are both in miles per hour. All right. And this is clearly a rate equal. I'm sorry. I shouldn't write that so quickly. It's a distance. Whoops. Distance equals rate times time. All right. So again, X is the rate of the crew in still water in miles per hour. And Y is the rate of the stream in miles per hour. So, you know, the, the kind of the first thing I know is the, the, the crew can row downstream and upstream in seven and a half hours, which means the total time is seven and a half hours. So, you know, it's 18 miles. And if he's going with the current, the rate would be X plus Y. What am I doing over here? Distance divided by rate is time. And he's got to go back so he's got, you know, against the stream, so to speak, X minus Y. And that would equal the total time, which is seven and a half hours. All right. By the way, there's other things been said. And remember, this is one thing that's been said. It says a crew can row downstream 18 miles and back again in seven and a half hours. So it's, it's with the current and against the current. And again, with the current, it would be the rate of, of the crew would be X plus Y. And this is what I'm doing over here. If it's against current, it's going to be, you know, the rate that the crew can go in still water minus the rate of the current. It's taken away. And it's 18 miles up and down. All right. Seven and a half hours total. All right. So I'm looking at this. and There's something else they said. It says the rate upstream. The rate upstream. Well, the rate upstream would be X minus Y. That's the rate upstream. They're going against the current. Is one and a half miles an hour less, let me write that down, than the rate of the stream, which is Y. So now I'm getting two equations with two unknowns. They look pretty nasty. But let, let's, let's get, you know, some of the things that we need to take care of is like the mixed numbers. And so seven half would be 15 halves. And one and a half is going to be three halves. I'm going to take this guy here. I'm going to multiply both sides by two. I get two X minus two Y equals two Y minus three. And let's write this down. It's going to be two X plus three equals 4y, and that would mean 2x plus 3 divided by 4 is equal to y. And what I got to do is, you know, I got to simplify that equation too, don't I? And let's see what we can do there. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make it a little bit simpler, dividing both sides by 3. And you would get 6 over x plus y plus 6 over x minus y is equal to, again, I'm dividing by three, so five halves, all right? And you know, I'm, I'm gonna simplify a little more. I'm gonna take this and, well, I think I can add them together, right? So what do you get? x squared minus y squared. It's gonna be five halves. Let's see what you get. And I'll write this on the side for you. You get six x minus six y plus 6x plus 6y. Well, the y's cancel up, you get 12x. Well, isn't that convenient? I'm going to keep moving along. And again, I want to focus on what I'm doing over here. I, I, I'm going to use this at some point. 
But right now I gotta, I gotta clear the fraction. And what do you get? You're gonna get 24x equals 5x squared minus 5y squared. And now I gotta uh, take this y here and plug it in here. What do you get? 24x, 5x squared, minus 5, and this can be 2x plus 3 over 4 squared. All right, I'm going to keep moving along. And <clears throat> i got to do one step at a time, right? So 24x, this will be 5x squared, minus 5. What do you get there? You get 4x squared. plus 12x, plus 9, all over 16. I'm going to multiply both sides by 16 now. And I'm, I'll sort of be careful about it. I'm not going to do too much multiplication, though. Let's see, 16 times 5, 15, 30, 80, x squared, minus 20x squared, minus, let's see, 50, 60x, right? Minus 45. All right, I'm going to keep moving along. And I got to, you know, maybe I should do some multiplication. 24 times 16. Let me write that down for you. That'd be 240. 10 times 24. 6 times 20, 120. And 6 times 4 is 24. So that's going to give me what? Uh, let's see, 384. equals 60x squared minus 60x minus 45. Well, oh, it looks tough, doesn't it? Well, let's do this now. We get 0, 60x squared minus, let's see, 4, 8, 6, 14, right? Minus 45. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Every term is divided by 3, by the way. 20x squared minus 15. I'm going to do 3 into 444. You may wonder why I know that's divided by 3. The sum of the digits is 12. That's divided by 3, so the number is divided by 3. So 1, 3, 1, 4, 4, 12. Whoops, that's crazy, isn't it? Put this 12 down. Again, I don't mind using calculators. I know I said it a lot to you. 148. Let's write that down. Minus 148x. Well, this is the extent of my ability to reduce the complexity of the numbers. And let's give it a try. I'm going to say 2x and 10x. And if I say that, I'm going to have to put the 5 with the 2. And then uh, a 3 over here. It's a reasonable combination, by the way. I'm not saying it's right, just it's reasonable. And let's see, does that work? No, that's not going to work. i to open my eraser out, try again. That's my first try. I never like to go beyond three tries, by the way. So I'm going to try 15. This seems more reasonable to me. And I'm going to say minus 15 plus 1. And I think that's going to work because it's going to be 20x squared. Then you get, you know, minus 150 plus 2 is minus 148. It works like a charm. And someone says, I can't remember what these letters mean. Well, x has something to do with the rate. All right, I'll go back and read that to you. And that rate would be 15 over 2. Or minus 1 tenth. I got to tell you that the minus 1 tenth doesn't make much sense. It's a negative rate. All right, and this is... Uh, a, a positive rate. The boat's rowing, right? So I'm going to say that X is the rate of the boat in still water. That's seven and a half miles an hour, by the way. And I think I'd come up with Y by using this over here. Let's see what we get. Well, you get 14 plus 1 is 15 plus 3, 18 quarters, which is 9 halves. 
and nine halves is four and a half miles per hour. Get my red pen out. See if we got that. Four and a half miles per hour for the stream. Seven and a half miles per hour for the crew and still water. Exactly what we're getting over here. All right. Not a bad problem. However, like most word problems, it requires some thinking. All right. I just want to remind you, my name is Ron Bannon. Uh, my email address is Bannon. That's B as in boy. The at symbol. N N O N dot U S. And I would love to hear from people that have uh, comments or suggestions on how to improve the document. Thank you.